Hey y'all, hey, what's happening? If you're new to my channel, my name is Tasha Marie TMR. How you doing, baby? All right, if this is your first time here and you have not yet subscribed, please do so at this moment. And if you've been watching me for a while and you just realized, dang, I'm missing all of Tasha Marie TMR's videos. Well, girl, go on, click that notification bell. Make sure you click the top option, which is all. So therefore, you could be notified every time I drop a new video. And if you've been watching me for a while and you're still... Girl, go on, hit that subscribe button. You know you love me. Hey, y'all. Stay tuned for my next sit-down video. Hey, thanks for coming back, y'all. All right. So, um, real quick, y'all, we're going to talk a little bit um, about some stuff I, you know, saw today. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with, um, there's a YouTuber, her name is Miss Lily. She's fairly new to YouTube. She's been around for a few months and she's really, you know, um, gained momentum um, in this area of YouTube. Y'all, she, you know, of course, like everybody started off with zero and within just a few months, she's well over a thousand subscribers. And congratulations to you, Miss Lily. At the end of the day, but I saw a video about um, from Miss Lily today um, saying that she was not going to no longer do reaction videos um, with the three moms. And she also stated, you know, that you know there's a lot more to her than reaction videos. Um, she stated that um, you know people in her comments, you know making reference, uh, poor reference to her size and her appearance and things of that nature. Now I'm going to say like this, y'all, Miss Lily seems like a very, uh, strong woman. Okay. I feel like she know how to handle herself. So I'm not coming over here, coming on here, trying to protect Miss Lily. I think me, Miss Lily already know what the deal is when it comes to YouTube and social media. Okay. I will say this, it's unfortunate that she states that she doesn't want to do reaction videos anymore because basically saying that you're not going to do a reaction video is basically saying, yeah, I'm not, I don't have an, you know, I'm not going to voice my opinion anymore. And again, at the end of the day, that's her prerogative. She can do what she feels like she needs to do and what she feels comfortable with. But I'm going to say this, y'all. Um, yes, Miss Lily is very raw and uncut, honey. She tells you that. She tells you she's going to give it to you like it is, like she don't, no chase or no filter, Okay. And that's her approach, right? And guess what? People like that approach. People was drawn to her channel from, from her bluntness, okay? Um, of course, a lot of people who that she speaks on, um, you know, Strong Mama Chrissy uh, lives life in Jasmine. Um, she, you know, she has been very blunt with her opinions and thoughts about them. And a lot of people, mainly her support, their supporters, didn't appreciate how blunt she was. Well, you know, those are her thoughts and those are her opinions and that's her approach. That's her presentation. That's what she chooses to do. At the end of the day, everybody has their own way of presenting information. You could do it in a comical way. You can do it in a very serious way. You could do it in an educated way, a non-educated way. At the end of the day, it's your voice. It's your thoughts, your opinions. Everybody is not going to perceive you the way maybe your friends. And when I say everybody, I mean everyone who's watching you throughout the world uh, on social media. You'll get a different, you're going to, you're going to get a much different response than the people that you deal with on a daily basis. Because those, those, the people that you deal with on a daily basis, they know you, they know you through and through. When you push record on your camera and, and, and your voice illumifies through somebody's speakers in their car or through the speakers in their television in their home. They don't know who you are. They, they know how, who you are by ad you addressing yourself. Um, but that's it. So they form an opinion of you based off the 15, 20 minutes that they see. Okay. I'm going to give you guys an example. Richard Pryor, Bill Cosby. 
both were comedians. Both, you know, both were, were comedians because Richard Pryor is no longer living. Um, both were comedians. Both did comedy stand-up around the same time, you know, in the same era. Richard Pryor had one approach. Richard Pryor was very, you know, blunt. He used a lot of cuss words, he, you know, vulgar language. But at the end of the day, that was his approach. That's how he wanted to communicate with his fans, his supporters. Bill Cosby, same way. Bill Cosby basically did the same type of stand-up that Richard Pryor did. Richard Pryor talked about people in his life that he had came across or pe people in his family. Bill Cosby did the same thing, but Bill Cosby's approach was different. Bill Cosby didn't really cuss. You know, he was, you know, very mild-mannered. You know, his approach was just like even-toned, you know. He had just a, a, a very different approach than Richard Pryor. But at the end of the day, people like Richard Pryor for what he gave and people like Bill Cosby for what he gave. They both were comedians, very good comedians. Um, they both did movies. They both, their, 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 their careers branched off into you know, movies, TV shows, whatever, you know, and they both did a, had a very good career. Okay. Um, but people liked Richard Pryor for one reason and then people like Bill Cosby for another, but did it say that neither one of them were funny? They both were equally funny. They were just funny in different ways. And that's the reason why I said that you said that you guys is my, um, my opinion and thoughts on reaction videos. Each and every person that does a reaction video is going to have a very different approach. None of the approaches are going to be the same. A lot of the people that do the reaction videos are going to have very different thoughts and opinions because it's their mind and it's what their, their perception of out of what they saw, right? So per, people who are subscribers and viewers, you, you are going to levitate towards the type of style of viewing that you like, you know, um, and that's your prerogative and that's your choice. But my thing is don't 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 dog somebody out based off how they communicate, right? Because everybody, you know, at the end of the day, y'all, we all come from different walks of life. We all come from different social and economic backgrounds. So a lot of times people talk based off how their, you know, how they relate to things or how, what the type of environments that they were brought up in, you know? Um, and, and that's how they communicate. Cause that's how they've always communicated, you know? Um, it, it's like this, y'all, the, the, you know, they, people call them trolls, you know, the people that come into your comments and say, you know, ignorant things at the end of the day. Um, you know, when I very first started YouTube nine months ago, it was very new to me. I didn't understand it. I couldn't understand why people were so mean and hateful. And in, in my mind, I didn't say anything mean or hateful to anybody. I didn't call anybody out their name. I didn't, you know, drag their, them through the streets or talk about their children. Or I didn't do any of that. But at the end of the day, people, what you got to realize is a lot of the people that view view your videos don't necessarily watch your videos to the end. So a lot of times they feed off what they hear. And people will interpret your words to fit their understanding, period, you know? And that's fine if that's what you want to do, because at the end of the day, me, I'm speaking as myself, me as the person who's being the presenter, I'm presenting the information to you. I know what I am intending to say. And that's why when I talk, you guys, and not, I'm not trying to belittle anybody when I say this, when I talk, I try not to use very big words in my vocabulary because I get everybody... Everybody don't know big, you know, really big words in their vocabulary. A lot of people don't relate to that. So I try to keep my conversation, you know, even. So I feel like it could be relatable to anybody, right? Um, you know, the people that, the, what they call them, the trolls um, that come into your comments and say things, you know, um, you, you just got to ignore it, delete it and move on. Sometimes y'all, I'll leave them there just to sit because a lot of times, even though a lot of these uh, accounts don't have, you know, pictures or avatars on them, but I just want people to see how people react, you know, let other people see how, you know, ignorant our society is, you know, and we, and y'all, we do know our, we have, our society is very ignorant, right? Um, at the end of the day. So, um, you know, Miss Lily said that she has other content and what I, what I learned about 
you know, my channel. Is when I first came on, you guys, I came to the scene doing reaction videos. Didn't really know that's what I was doing, but that's what I, I yeah, that's what I was doing. Okay. And as I started doing my reaction videos or, you know, I started developing. I started saying, well, you know what? There's, you know, I can do more than just discuss other people. There's, you know, things that I like to do and I can try to share that with the world as well. And thing, other things that I like to talk about. So that's when I started doing reaction on like news uh, footage that I see, you know, or just different type of stuff all around. And I'm like, you know, at the end of the day, y'all, it's an audience for everything. And so what you have to learn how to do is you got to learn how to tap into that audience. Whatever, you know, whatever, you know, they use the word on, on YouTube, your niche, you know, and whatever you feel like your niche is, you know, just, I mean, you can do things to show people that you're very well-rounded, you know, and I'm not speaking to Miss Lily in particular. I'm speaking to any YouTube creator, right? I anybody, you know, um, you, yeah, you know, y'all, I just. It's just sad, the world that we live in. It's, it's sad that people, you know, throw rocks and hide their hands. That, that's just so unfortunate. And, um, but that's the reality of our world, you know. And, you know, to me, um, you know, giving your opinion about something, I, I don't see any harm in it. Especially if you could do it in a way where it, it can come off more as constructive criticism other than um, being a, a, you know, what they say, hater, being a hater. Because a lot of times when you when you hear these reaction videos, a lot of times the people in the comments are like, well, you hating, you hating. And you know, y'all, I, I can't speak for anybody else, but me personally, me personally, the people that I have done reaction videos on, y'all, I'm not hating off their lives, not even a little bit. And not, that's not to say anything bad about their lives, but at the end of the day, I, I'm I'm okay with my life, you know, and what I got going on or what I don't have going on, you know, I'm okay with it. I'm a small YouTuber and I'm fine with that because at the end of the day, each and every one of those women that we spoke of was once small YouTubers too. And they had to grow their audience just like anybody who aspires to start a YouTube channel has to do the same exact thing. You're going to start with zero. Everybody starts with zero and hopefully you can grow and, and get to the big numbers like, you know, a lot of people who um, pick up the, you know, their camera and start vlogging wants to do, ultimately, that's the goal, that you can, you know, reach a big audience on YouTube. So, y'all, I you know, I just, I just think that, I just, you know, I, I, I hate that they did that, did her like that, you know, talked about her weight and, and her appearance and stuff like that. You know, that's, that's just very mean and hateful. And if you don't like somebody, you know, just, I mean, my thing is, or if you don't like what somebody says, like to me, just say, Hey, you know what? I don't agree with you and let it go. Start When you start attacking people's appearances and their, you know, all that other stuff, y'all, that to me, that is just so uncalled for. But at the end of the day, that's not what I'm going to do. That might not be what you're going to do. But as we know, y'all, we can't control people right? We only can control ourselves. So at the end of the day, how I feel like how you can make the world better is starting with yourself first. And if you could do what you need to do and you can become an example for others, great. But if people don't catch on to the trend, then there's nothing you could do. You could just only affect the circle around you. And that's it at the end of the day, you know, you know, um, I have, you know, came on my channel and maybe addressed comments and stuff like that comments that I feel like was just really silly that were made you know but at the end of the day the people that makes those that made those comments like I would never go and just say mean hateful things back to them although they did to me because I just feel like two wrongs don't make a right right it's not gonna make me feel any better or any bigger by throwing daggers back at you because at the end of the day I'm keeping it going right? I'm keeping it going. So what I, a lot of times what I do, I don't even answer them, you know? Um, I'll either delete them or sometimes I, like I said earlier, or sometimes I just let them sit there. I, y'all at the end of the day, I don't have time for all that. You know, I, I'm gonna come out here and you know, this is entertainment. And if, like I said, a million times, if you're not entertained, 
by my video, then you don't just don't watch it. You don't have to watch it, y'all. Just because you got the notification bell or got the recommendation, don't mean you got to watch your girl. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, I know y'all because I caught uh, Jazzy's live today for a minute. Um, I didn't stay long, y'all. Um, mm. but she was talking about um somebody on her Facebook. Somebody kept messaging messaging her on Facebook. And was just saying real mean things. And she said that she just kept, you know, replying back with laugh emojis. And as she was in the live, the person that was contacting her was contacting her at that moment. And she was going back and forth with him. And, you know, and I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, maybe because Jasmine is much younger than me. So she may got the time for that. Yeah, me personally, I wouldn't have had the time for that. At the end of the day, I would have blocked and deleted that person. And would I wouldn't care if they did would have made another account if they would have made another account then okay baby that's your time you wasted because it only takes a minute for me to hit block and delete it takes a little longer for you to go and think of a, a gmail and all that and make you a whole new account to go on youtube or facebook or wherever you go instagram wherever you know i feel like the world is so big, y'all. We can't fight everybody. So to, for me to have to go back and forth with you, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to block and delete and move on. Okay? Okay. Period. All right? Um, You know, y'all, at the end of the day, you got to know better to do better. And sometimes people don't just, sometimes people just don't know better. Right? I mean, what can you do? At the end of the day, you there's nothing you can do about it. You just got, sometimes you have to be the bigger person and you just got to move on. If your goal is to come on YouTube and talk about whatever or share your life or share your hobby um, and there's people in your comments that don't agree with you or feel like they just, you know, figured out, oh, I don't like you. Okay, well, baby, that's them. They got to deal with all that anger. You don't have to be a part of that anger at the end of the day. You know, and like I said, you guys, I'm not speaking directly to Lily because again, Lily is a grown woman. She can handle her own. Okay. I'm speaking in general. I'm speaking to whomever it, this can apply to. All right. It's just like at your job, y'all. If you're dealing with something at your job, your managers or supervisor is very mean and hateful to you or the, 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 the you know, the people that you work with, your coworkers, you know, at the end of the day, baby, you can't control people and how they think and how they feel. All you can do is control yourself. And like I've always taught my children, don't let them see you sweat. All right, y'all. Until the next time I see y'all in the next video. Remember, y'all, be easy and sub what you love. Bye-bye.